Level 5 are my all-time favourite video game developers, creators of my favourite game series of all time, Professor Layton. But I also love both the anime and game of Inazuma 11, which makes normal football look boring in comparison. Oh! So with level 5 vision soon, which will hopefully have some good games to review, I thought I'd take a look at Inazuma 11 Strikers. <laughs> For those of you who aren't familiar with this series, it's about some kids playing the world's most dangerous football. Oh! Admittedly, it can be a bit cheesy how seriously they take the sport, but I don't think it would be this serious without it, and people in real life take football overly seriously, and I would know thanks to two very naughty words and a phone slam courtesy of my dad. It's also worth mentioning that I was very excited for this game before it was even confirmed for a UK release. I watched a lot of footage of the Japanese version, and once it was announced it would be coming to the UK, I kept my eye on every bit of info we got, and I headed to game on the day of release and they didn't have the game. Heck, I still never see it in the store. I had to get it off Amazon instead. So as you can imagine, I went for a lot of trouble for this game. So was it worth it? And should you hunt down a copy? Let's take a look. Any new player should definitely head to the club room first. Here, we encounter our first problem with the game. Hi, welcome to the club room. I'm Mark Evans. <sighs> the voices are from the game. You see, this game took the art style from the anime, and I thought the voices would follow. Personally, I think the voices were much better in the anime. What's happening? Nobody can hang onto the ball! Let's play football! So it's kind of annoying we have the game voices, most of which were taken from the Layton games. Another issue with the voice acting is that it's very repetitive. What do I mean? Let's go! 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 Enough said. It also doesn't help that a lot of voices don't fit the characters. Oh yeah, the club ring. Here you customise your own team of players you unlock when you play through a series of competitions. You can also play through some friendly matches and do some training activities which also take up the minigame portion, so more on those later. I do have to admit when I replayed the game to capture footage, I found it a bit boring playing through, and I have no idea. So I'll just say it's not a mode to replay a lot, but when I first played it, I had a lot of fun, so I'll definitely stick with the previous statement. Part of the reason I'd say the club room in particular isn't replayable is for some bizarre reason. Once I played some of the other modes, I was having a blast just like old times. It's time to talk about the actual football! In perspective, it plays very much like your typical football game. You tackle, you pass the ball to others, la di da where Inazuma differentiates from other fidget games are the special moves. When this blue thingy on your character charges up, you can shake the Wii remote to take the ball from your enemy. The the Stop them from taking it, or hold down B to charge up a striking move to try and get your ball into the back of the net. And you have the keeper's moves to stop them from getting the ball in. These are awesome! They're great to look at, and oh wait, the graphics, they're still pretty good. The cell shaded style works really well for the anime characters, and hang on, I still have some more things to say about the special moves. YouTube reviewing at its finest! As awesome as they are, I have one big problem with them. The big issue with the special moves are the strike moves, even though I just commented on their awesomeness. It's impossible to score with just a standard strike. Trust me, there's no point in even trying. The only way you're gonna get a goal is if you charge up that special move, and there's not much skill with the special move, so there's less of a... Right, <laughs> that's what you get! Feeling. More of a... Okay. Feeling. But the football is a lot of fun. I got great satisfaction from good passes and even getting some goals in when the match is very close. I also admit the special strength being not very skill based might be a good thing for lesser skilled players. Get that score! 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 Damn it! Oh, no! Imagine that! Imagine that! Imagine that! Oh! Oh, God, no. Oh! Come on! Let's go! Don't, don't, don't. Do, oh, do, do! Out of the way! <sighs> Three nil. Go! Yes! 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 Screw you! Actually, 
you know what? Get out! Get out! Get out! Go on! Shoot! Shoot! <clears throat> you can also take part in tournaments, which should make for a great gaming session with three other friends, but even by myself it's a lot of fun and probably my favourite way to play! As I mentioned earlier, the training part of the club room also takes up the mini game section. Now let's talk about them! There's five mini games for you to take part in, and if you play in the training part, bonds are made and gain strength. Most of them consist of button mashing, but I have to admit they are quite good fun. And when I captured the footage with my sister, it was actually a good laugh. You have one where you have to score goals while tied to a rope, one where you pull a bus along, one where you hit a tyre, a rally where you have to hit the ball to a tree, and a race where you drag a tyre along behind you. Don't try these at home. No. Seriously, I still have the scars. And that's basically it. Apart from the settings menu, that is. It took me an afternoon to capture all the footage I needed. However, there's a few small things I should mention, those being the music, penalties, CPU, the maps, and team options. Let's tackle them individually. I've always loved the music in Inazuma 11, and it's just awesome here. I'm even talking about the calm tracks like the club room music. It sounds like something else with Animal Crossing, which is where I got the name of my team from. Rock on, man. Bear. Pig. You obviously get penalties when both teams tie, and you have to guess where the enemy will shoot or save. And it's actually great fun, not to mention satisfying when you manage to save the ball. The CPU are really good and can really hold their own. Enemies do pick a lot of the same moves, which does get annoying, but aside from that, they're great. You can choose different pitches to play on, but they're all very much of a much, so chances are you won't really have a favourite. Finally, team options. Yeah, they're also pretty good. I'm someone who judges teams by the characters they have and not really the strength, but if you do, you should have a good time picking favourites. But seriously, why do so many of them look like grown men? There's also another multiplayer option with your coach and manager while playing a match, but I've barely used it. So honestly, I still have a lot of fun playing this game. The lack of a story mode might turn some people off, but it still plays a very good game of football. Most of the voices are passable save for a few, which do an okay job. The club room is great the first time through, and the mini games are fun time wasters. If you don't know anything about Inazuma 11, Definitely start with the anime or games first. If you're an avid football fan who enjoys games like FIFA who's looking for a more over the top version of a beautiful game, you may get a kick out of it, no pun intended. However, if you're a huge fan of the series like I am, definitely track down a copy. I'll score at 85%. I found myself coming back for another match a lot, and although I'll definitely be back for more in the future. Hey,